Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about the Texas State Veteran Benefits. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meet. Let's get into this topic, man. Yes, man, I wanted to go over the Texas State benefits for veterans because I know there are a lot of veterans out there like myself who aren't from the state of Texas and we moved there. And there are a lot of different benefits and entitlements that the state of Texas has to offer for veterans. And I would love to just go over those benefits for those who aren't from the state of Texas and also for those who are from the state of Texas and you may not have known about these benefits. So let's get into it again. So as you can see right here on the screen, you can see the state of Texas. Yes, the state of Texas, man. I love to say that because as a veteran from South Carolina, Texas is my home now. And it's the place that I plan on dying, Lord willing. And man, when I say that it's an awesome state to live in for veterans, for military personnel, man, I can't think of another place outside of Texas um, besides Florida because Florida is another great state for veterans to live in. So let's get into this topic. So right here, as you can see on the screen, man, the first thing that they have to offer is the Texas Veteran Homes. Texas has nine veteran homes in El Murillo, Big Spring, Barnum, El Paso, Floresville, Houston, McAllen, Temple, and Tyler. These homes are open to veterans who are not dishonorably discharged and their spouses are unmarried surviving spouses. Gold Star parents are also eligible, providing they meet the age requirement and residency requirement above. Cost is based on income. The next benefit that they have is the Texas Veteran Financial Benefit, Disability Veterans Property Tax Exemption. Now, this is the one that I would say that I'm using right now, and I think is an actual blessing to have. And I thank the Lord for this benefit, because as a veteran who owns a home, having to pay property tax every year would be astronomical. It would be out of this world. And I'm fortunate to be a part of those who receive this benefit. So let me get into it. Total property tax exemption for 100% disabled veterans and their surviving spouses. Yes, surviving spouses are entitled to this benefit. Veterans with a 10 through 90% VA disability can get a reduction of their home assessed value from 5,000 to 12,000 depending on disability percentage. Surviving spouses also qualify. So if you're a surviving spouse, just know that you qualify for this exemption too. If your spouse died with 10 through 90 percent. Some counties offer homestead tax exemption for veterans. Free driver's license for disabled veterans. Veterans with a service-connected disability of at least 60 percent and an honorable discharge get a Texas driver license or ID for free. Veteran home loan. The Texas Veteran Land Board, VLB, offers generally below market interest rates for home loans for Texas veterans, lower rates for those who have a disability rating of 30% or more, home improvement, and land loans. Texas is currently the only state to offer land loans up to 150000 with 5% down and a 30-year rate, depending on your credit. I can attest that this is one, too, because I received some of this, and it was a blessing as to what I got my house for during the time. Veteran Home Improvement Program. The VLB offers home improvement loans up to 50,000 for a maximum of 20 years payoff or a 10 year payoff for loans of 7,500 to 10,000. Veterans with a service connected disability rating of 30% or greater qualify for a discounted interest rate. The loan may be used for alteration, repairs, or improvements to the veteran's home. 
the v the improvement must be substantially protect or improve the basic livability or utility of the property. The Texas Veteran Education Benefit Hazelwood Act. The Hazelwood Act is a state of Texas benefit that provides qualified veteran spouses and dependents with an education benefit of up to 150 hours tuition-free college at state schools. This does not include living expenses, books, or supply fees. The veteran must have been a Texas resident when they entered the service and lived there now, received the honorable discharge, served at least 181 days active duty, used up all federal VA education benefits. Legacy Act. Veterans eligible for the Hazelwood Act can assign unused hours to a child under certain conditions. The child must be a Texas resident, be the biological child, stepchild, adopted child, or claimed as a dependent in the current or previous tax year, be 25 years or younger on the first day of the semester or term, meet GPA, academic progress, and credit our requirements. Only one child can use the Hazelwood Legacy Benefit at a time. Hazelwood Act for a Spouse, Child, Spouses and Dependents, Children of Eligible Active Duty Reserve, a Texas National Guard who died in the line of duty as a result of a service-connected injury or illness or missing in action, or who became totally disabled for purpose of employability as a result of a service-related injury or illness are entitled to receive 50-credit hour tuition-free college. Like the normal Hazelwood Act, the veteran must have been a Texas resident when they entered the service. A spouse must have no federal VA education benefits, be a Texas resident, meet GPA, academic progress, and credit hour requirement. A child must have no federal VA education benefits, be a Texas resident, meet GPA, academic progress, and credit hours requirements. These requirements does not apply to the child of an MIA, missing in action, KIA, killed in action, or service-connected deceased veteran, Texas Veteran Employment Benefits, Veteran Preference. Wartime veterans have preference in employment with state agencies or office as do widows and children of those killed on active duty. State agencies must practice veteran preference until they have reached 40% veteran employment. Military time credit towards state retirement. Non-retired veterans who are state employees can claim their active duty time towards retirement by making a payment equal to the monthly contributions an employee would make times the number of months active duty. The maximum anyone can buy is 60 months. The Veteran Entrepreneurs Program. The Veteran Entrepreneurs Program provides veteran entrepreneurs and veteran small businesses the tools they need to start or grow their business. This program provides constellations with business plan, financing, marketing, and more. Texas Veterans Recreation Benefits. Disabled Veterans Hunting and Fishing License. Disabled veterans with a 50% or greater disability or who are suffering the loss of use of foot or leg as a result of service can get a free super combo hunting and all water fishing package. You don't have to be a Texas resident to qualify. Active duty hunting and fishing license. The super combo hunting and all Water fishing package is available at no cost to Texas residents or active duty. Military members and their dependents on active duty anywhere are entitled to purchase a license at the resident rate. Disabled Veteran State Park Pass. Any veteran with a 60% or greater disability or a service-connected loss of a lower extremity is eligible for free admissions to Texas state parks. You don't have to be a Texas resident to qualify. 
Texas Veterans Cemetery. Texas has four state veterans cemetery at Albaline, Corpus Christi, Colleen, and Mission. All Texas veterans, their spouse, and their dependents are eligible for burial. There is no charge for burial of a veteran or their family. Visit the Texas Veterans Commission website for more information on any of these programs. So I just really wanted to go over and share all of that great information with you so that you can enjoy the benefits of being in Texas. Because being in the state of Texas, there are a lot of different benefits that I enjoy as a veteran. And I want to ensure that you as a veteran are able to enjoy those benefits with me. So if you have any questions, please go to the article that's going to be listed in the description. And you can also go and go to the Texas Veterans Commission website. You can also call 211 if you need any assistance. And as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince from Vet Talk. My great people, Vet Talk out.